head is hot enough for the skinny. Am I going to come clean on this story? I think I kind of have to. Yeah, you have totally you, you can best. <laughs> this is exciting news for some folks. Full House fans. He's this not is one. it. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> TV Guide is reporting that John Stamos is spearheading a revival of the classic sitcom with the show's creator and original executive producer actively involved. Dan? It literally just wasn't for me. Maybe, okay. maybe, listen, maybe this revival might be. It appears that the rest of the original cast was on board with the idea as well. The original Full House ended after eight seasons back in 1995. Listen, everyone was cheering for it. I just, you know, we'll see. Look at those kids. They're sad, Dan. Mm, I, mm. Yeah, Mary Kate and Ashley are sad that you don't like them. They're <laughs> rich. That's true. <laughs> They're billionaires. <laughs> Also, speaking of John Stamos from the show, how is good old Uncle Jesse doing these days? Yeah, not too bad. Take a look at the selfie that he posted on Instagram. That Ooh. is Stamos. So, all right, so Full House had some benefits right there. <laughs> 51 years old, Mr. Stamos, very nicely done. We were wondering what his secret is, and he says that he started doing Pilates two years ago. I'm signing up for Pilates right. tomorrow. <laughs> Classes will be sold out. His sudden fame might not be good for Miley Cyrus's mystery man, because there is a warrant out for Jesse Hell. As the homeless man who accepted Miley's video of the year award at the VMAs, well, Oregon authorities said that he violated probation after an attempted burglary four years ago. Cyrus may have given help money to visit his mother, and if he does end up doing that, the cops are going to be waiting. A detective even went to his mother's house yesterday to look for him. Cyrus hasn't commented directly, but she did tweet that people who are homeless have lived very, very hard lives. Jessica Alba's got a great gig going on right now in case acting doesn't work out. There's an eco-baby friendly, eco-baby product company that she started, and hers is now worth almost a billion dollars. The company just raised 70 million also as it prepares for an IPO. You know, the Sin City Star started the company back in 2011, partly as a business, partly as a, a do-good mission. Well, it donates diapers and cribs to parents who can't afford them, and now, obviously, paying off some nice dividends. Definitely. Not a Hollywood's walk of fame in a day that many people said was very long overdue. That is because actor and comedian Phil Hartman died back in 1998, but just yesterday, you see here, a new star on the walk of fame was unveiled in his honor. Fellow Saturday Night Live alums John Lovitz and Kevin Nealon helped do the honors. Hartman starred on SNL from 1986 through 1994, best known for his impressions of Bill Clinton, Ronald Reagan, Frank Sinatra. He was so good. He won an Emmy back in 1989. Hartman also did the voiceover work for 52 episodes of The Simpsons, if you didn't know. Yeah. Okay, speaking of celebs, let's get to some of your big celebrity birthdays today. Here's the big day for comedian Paul Rubens of Pee Wee Herman fame, turning 62. 62? Fashion designer Tom Ford is 53. <laughs> Fashionably transitioned there. The Dog Whisperer, Caesar Milan, turning 45. Oh, recent Emmy winner Aaron Paul also got another reason to celebrate. He was on Breaking Bad. He is 35 today. Happy birthday to all.